reboot everything. All right, guys, we're back in Code Combat in the Backwoods Forest. Let's go ahead and jump in. It's been a while since I've played this. Let's see what we got. Jump right mm -hmm. in. So we want to defeat all the ogres with traps. So before, uh, and collect all the coins. So before using pickup flag, use build XY to build a fire trap at the flag's position, a coin like flag. All right, cool. So we have a wall loop. We're saying if the flag build at, let's see here. Um, here it'll build XY fire trap. And let's go ahead and look at the documentation real quick. Cause it's been a moment. And let's go ahead and look at flag real quick. Say move. Flag X is not defined. So we we can go ahead and create a variable here called var flag X is equal to flag dot. Let's see, uh, flag dot position dot X. Oops. Dot x, and then uh, our flag y is equal to flag dot position dot y. And let's go ahead and run this to see. It's uh, some of this. Um, oops. We're going to turn the sound on, which is where. There you go. Let's zoom in a little bit. Trying to make the map a little bit bigger. So we want the flag. Alright, so let's submit it. And to drop a flag, it's G. like we have it automatically set up our wall loop to collect coins build traps and move to the location kind of preempt the traps looks like we can build a couple at a time no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, so... I don't think we're gonna get there in time. Alright, so we, we made a mistake there. We can go ahead and submit it one more time. And we just gotta build the traps proactively. Uh, with the way our logic is set up. And we'll use multiple flags here so we can queue them up. Oops. Uh, and also, we don't want to kill ourselves like that with the traps. Oh my god, it worked. I thought we were gonna walk on the trap and die. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, let's continue on. See what else we got up in store for us. Uh, next we are Mind the Trap. For the win! So, it looks like we have to equip this. It has attack and cleave, so we're probably gonna have to Go use combat. cleave quite often in here. So, use flags just so you don't run over the mine. Okay. So pick up the flag. So we're gonna say uh, hero dot move x y, and to save time, we're not going to uh, create variables. We're gonna say flag dot the position dot x, and flag dot the position dot y. Basically, get the x position x coordinate, get the y and coordinate. Um, then we're gonna say if the distance. Let's see, how do we do distance again? Uh, 
See if else while well, find nearest enemy. So find nearest enemy. So we'll do a simple, uh, so if there is an enemy, and if, a nested if statement. Oops. So if there is an enemy, and if, um, hero dot find nearest, is a find nearest enemy. Actually, we won't find the distance to. So you see right here, we have a nice thing. Let's create a variable, actually, since this is getting a little complicated. So we'll call this var distance. We can follow the example, right? Follow the documentation. Uh, and then we're going to say if the distance is equal to the hero dot distance to the enemy that we are defining. So here we're checking this, and we're gonna pass in distance as our if parameter. We're saying, look, if the distance that exists, but we want it to be is less than 10. Hero dot attack the enemy. Let's go ahead and submit this and see what happens. So. Novesty. So it looks like, oh, it looks like we uh, we forgot to pick up a flag. So let's see here, pick up flag. Okay. So we can get rid of this hero dot thing, and we're gonna say instead, hero dot pick up flag, and we're gonna pass flag in there, and then we're say if distance, and then we'll do if uh, cleave look at the documentation right now we're gonna say look if the heroes and we're calling is ready and what what does this mean we're basically seeing if our cleave attack is ready and then and then we'll have our else statement here so if it's not ready but an enemy exists go ahead and just attack the nearest enemy um, if it is ready go ahead and cleave Let's go ahead and submit this. I think this should be it now. Yeah. Nice little cleave. We'll go ahead and go right in the middle of it. Yeah. Same thing here. You'll see how it leaves us down up until that last second, and we're able to attack. Cool. And let's continue on to Signal Corpse. For the win! Play this out. So we want oh, to defeat combat. the ogres. Let's see what we need to do for this. Use different color flags and tell your or tell your hero to run and cleave. All right, so if the green flag is, go ahead and pick it up, and so that's gonna move our guy and pick up the flag. So pick up the flag moves it, so we don't have to do find flag and pick up flag. It's the same thing. Um, and then else, if it's black and it's ready to cleave, go ahead and cleave. So we're going to go ahead. So you see we're doing an, uh, two, two statements. Uh, if the flag is black and it's ready to cleave. So we're going to say hero dot cleave. And at this point, I believe we can just cleave in general. Um, so we'll just have them cleave around. And then else... Uh, nearest is the, actually, let's go ahead and pass in the nearest enemy, since they already set it up for us. 
And then we want to else attack if the distance is less than 10. And cleave isn't ready. In this case, we will say hero.attack. And then we'll say nearest. I believe this is it. We just have to do it correctly now. So we have G, which is move, and B, which is black. So I just got murked. Uh, oh, so uh, let's go ahead and, uh, so I think our logic was okay. I think the guy just got stuck on trying to attack a single guy. So let's go back and see if we can buy an item. So we have 4,556 and it looks like at the end of the day, we were just getting wrecked by some stuff. I think our damage is okay. I just think we need to be a little tankier. Um, so we don't have that much. I'm not ready for that. Riveted chainmail. And let's let's. It's been a while, so let's all put this in perspective. For the win. How much health do we have? How do we check that? So we are a warrior. Uh, we'll just roll with it. Let's see. Uh, is it not gonna tell us the stats, or are we lagarino? Let's try this one more time. There we go. All right, warrior. pretty good. Maybe we should just buy the most badass item we can get. Uh, which looks to be that. Alright, so let's we're get, we'll get the dragon plate. Let's go ahead and equip our dragon plate. Let's go back into this real quick. For the win! And so our previous chest plate gave us 50 HP, so we're, we're about to get so tanky. All right, let's see what we can do here, boys and girls. For the 10% of you that are my female audience, welcome, welcome. And our code should be already good to go. We've now tanked up a little bit. So black is to cleave, green is to go ahead and... Let's just go here, see what happens. Action. All right, so we're not taking enough that... Uh, these battles are not with me. So, in the meantime, so rather than our code, we actually needed to go ahead and uh, change our. Uh, our <laughs> this is more game stuff than uh, code stuff. Uh, so our logic was good. Unlock the desert world. If you're strong enough. How do I do that? I feel like I'm already here. So, uh, is this it? For the win! Alright, let's hunt all Go ogres, combat. collect all the coins. Alright, cool. Oh. I think we're actually a good place to stop. We'll continue on in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And support me on patreon.com slash codingtutorials360. And look forward to our weekly interviews with developers and those working in the tech space on every Friday for a new episode of Behind the Code. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. Special thanks to our sponsor, Dev Mountain. If you're interested in a coding boot camp, why don't you check them out where they include housing alongside their tuition so you can get up, go, and immerse yourself in the environment. If you want to support me, go over to patreon.com slash codingtutorials360 so we can put out more content. Thanks for watching.